have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to jump in today's vlog because if you watched last week's vlog, then you might know what this week's vlog is going to be about. But just in case you haven't, I will put a card up above for you guys if you wanna go check that out. But anyway, today I'm going to continue to work on my craft room and we're gonna finish that rotating pegboard along with some other little projects. So I'm gonna take you guys outside with me so we can go start working on this pegboard. All right guys, so I'm outside now and I apologize if it is loud out here um, there's always dogs barking around my neighborhood it is trash day and I hear the trash truck coming around and it is also really windy so you're probably gonna hear the wind and my wind chimes and everything else like I said it is so windy if you can't tell by my hair and my wind chimes um, this is probably not a great idea to spray paint with all this wind but um I'm gonna be working with the wind I guess because this is the only day this week that there is any sunshine and there's only a small chance of rain the rest of this week it's gonna be pouring rain like all day every day so this is the one chance I have to get this painted so here is the rotating pegboard tower so my thought was because my other pegboards in my craft room are like turquoise um, but the other main color of my craft room is hot pink stuff so I wanted to spray my pegboards hot pink and the wooden part of this rotating pegboard is going to be white so it can match all of the rest of my furniture. All right guys, so I finished painting it white and now I'm gonna wait for this to dry for a couple of hours and then we'll come out here and paint the pegboards pink. All right guys, so I finished taping off my pegboard tower so now we are ready to spray paint the actual pegboard hot pink. Okay, sorry, I think my camera battery died um, while I was painting the pegboard pink, but here it is. So I'm gonna let this set for probably another hour and then we will be ready to take it back upstairs to the craft room. All right guys, so it has been a few hours and our pegboard is completely dry now. So now we are ready to peel up the tape. So I'm just gonna carefully peel this up and then we are ready to take it upstairs. All right, so now I'm gonna carry this upstairs to my craft room. All right, you guys, and that was perfect timing because now that our pegboard is done, I can take it upstairs to the craft room and my doorbell just rang. I just got a delivery for what I have been planning to do with this rotating pegboard. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay, I definitely can't lift that with one hand, so I'm gonna set you guys down so that I can bring that inside the house. Ta-da! So I ordered these drawers. It says that it's a modular mobile chest. It's got five decent sized drawers on it and it is the perfect size for our pegboard. So by the time I build this, I should be able to set my pegboard on top of this so that the top half will still rotate, but then I will have some set drawers just for some extra space so that this isn't setting on the ground because obviously this is pretty short when it's setting on the ground. So I knew that was gonna be too short to just set it on the floor, but when it wouldn't fit on that shipping station that I have up there, I knew that I would have to just set it on top of something else. So I saw these at Michael's and they were only 70 bucks. I saw some other ones on Amazon that were a little more expensive. I think I saw some that were like 100 bucks, 120, 130, and they go up from there depending on the size and how many drawers you get. So I decided to get this one. So now I'm gonna get my workout in and carry both of these heavy pieces upstairs. All right guys, so I decided to put my hair because I'm gonna start building this bad boy now. And then we will be able to put our pegboard tower on top of it. And the plan is to put it right here. I am so excited for this, so let's get to it. Hey 
they like glued this cardboard. I thought there was gonna be like tape or something that I had to rip up. No, they like 100% like glued this down. So this is gonna take me a minute to unbox, so one minute. I'm literally cutting this box. They're like something stronger than like Gorilla Glue because I feel like they use that. <laughs> and like, come on, I already used all of my muscle and energy just to carry this up my stairs and the rotating pegboard. Like, I'm tired now. I don't have the strength to just rip this box to shreds because it's a super thick box that they wanted to use like cement. Okay. Ha, ha, ha. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what is in this box. So we got our instructions, some trash. All right, we got the mounting hardware, all of the fun hardware. There's like a million things in here, good Lord. And then let's start organizing these pieces. I'm so excited for this. I have like wanted these drawers for so long. Okay, so I got all my pieces laid out. All right, so I'm just gonna set you guys up here so I can get to building this. And I have a feeling this is gonna take me a long time. So I'm going to save you guys by fast forwarding a little bit and I'll put this part in hyperlapse for you guys. So I finally finished my drawers. Mine didn't come with wheels, which is fine because I wouldn't really be wheeling this around on my carpet anyway, but it is supposed to come with wheels. So be aware of that before you start building if you even need the wheels. But like I said, mine's gonna be kind of stationary over here because my pegboard is gonna rotate and I'm not gonna wanna move this around because it's gonna be tall and heavy with a bunch of stuff on it. So I'm not worried about the wheels, but I'm gonna go ahead and push this over there. Then we will attach the pegboard to the drawers. So you see how in this hole, there's like a little track and it has little holes in there. So what I'm gonna do is mark four points on this. So like the four corners, and I'm going to pre-drill a hole, and then I'm going to screw in the screws, and then we can put on the top of the pegboard. <laughs> My gosh, you guys, it looks so good. Oh, I'm so excited. So now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna put in here. And while I'm thinking about what I'm gonna put on here, I'm probably gonna switch my sublimation oven that I do my sublimation tumblers in and my heat press. I think I'm gonna flip flop them. And I'm also gonna be putting my sublimation printer on the end of this cabinet so I can have all of my devices on there. Right now I just have 
random stuff. And I also ordered these little six inch feet off of Amazon. They were like a natural wood color, but I just painted them white because I'm going to be putting them on the bottom of my shipping station. So I'm gonna take the wheels off and I'm just going to screw these little feet on and then it should be about the same height as my desk. So while I'm kind of getting all these little tasks done, I'm gonna be thinking about what I'm gonna be putting on my pegboard and in my drawers and I'll just kind of pick up the stuff as I go. Okay, so I went to Walmart earlier and I just got a bunch of different paints. They were actually out of a ton of colors that I wanted to get, um, but I still got a bunch of paint to go up on our little paint wall over there. Now that I hung up those other three shelves, I kind of have some empty space I need to fill, so Obviously that's not gonna fill it out. So I might have to space out the bottles or I'll just leave some empty spaces until I can find some more. So I'll be putting that up shortly. Okay, so I cleaned off the table. So now I can switch these. Hopefully it fits. I might have to like slide the table around. Okay, I think that looks great. All right, now I'm gonna put the feet on my little shipping station here, which is kind of gonna be a pain in the butt because I have to turn it on its back, which means I'm gonna have to empty everything out. So, another hyperlapse for you guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so now it has feet, which I love because now I can like store extra stuff underneath there, like extra copy paper or whatever. But I love how it is the perfect height. It's like flush with my desk now, so perfect. So now I'm going to put everything back in here and then we will move on to the paint. Okay, and I also got this Amazon package. So you remember how a few vlogs ago I was kind of talking about how I hate that I have to do, because my craft room is upstairs, then I have to walk downstairs and then down into my basement to get anything that I need up in my craft room. For example, there were like several tools that I was constantly going down there for, so I got a second one to have up in my craft room. So this, kind of the same thing, just something I needed two of. And that is a scale. So I have a scale downstairs in my basement that I use for all my resin and epoxy, but I have used it in the past for freshy stuff. And then I'll have to carry it up here anytime I'm like weighing out packages or boxes to go out for like customer orders. So I knew I needed to get another scale for up here so I wouldn't have to keep bringing it up and down stairs. So I got this gorgeous turquoise. It's like a little bit lighter than a turquoise or like more bluish than like a turquoise. Like it doesn't quite match like my pegboards, but it's pretty dang close. But I thought this was so cute, so small and pretty. So I really just wanted a small little scale to have up here for all my little packages. In my boxes I could just like stand up on it I don't really ship like huge boxes like typically the biggest box that I ever ship out is like something that fits like a tumbler so this will be fine so I just gotta figure out how this bad boy works and then I'll be able to start using it tomorrow to package orders okay so moving right along now I'm going to put up the paint on the acrylic shelves okay so I just spaced them out a little bit I don't think that looks bad so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for the rest of them so I can fit the rest of this paint up there. Love it. All right, so now I'm gonna move my sublimation printer over here. All right, so all of my devices are on my cube shelf now. My paint is all done and organized. 
my shipping station is clean organized cute little feet on there and we switched my sublimation oven and my heat press i think it looks so much better like that and now i am ready to start putting stuff on i think what i decided to do um while i was doing all those other little things i think i'm going to put the majority of my sublimation stuff like anything related to my oven my heat press sublimation that kind of stuff i'm gonna put over here on the pegboard like the tools that i use over here um and just some extra stuff i think my sublimation blanks can go down there my sublimation paper and ink so i'm gonna start on that now Alright guys, so here it is, the finished product. So I left two of the pegboards blank, but honestly like right now I can't really think of anything else that I should put up here or that I need up here, but I think the more I use it, um, the more I'll figure out like what I want over here. So I put my heat tape up there, my lint roller, my scissors, and then all of like my fabric related glue. And then on the side that kind of hangs next to my heat press, I put my heat resistant gloves up there and my oven mitts that I use typically whenever I'm working with my sublimation oven. And then in this first drawer, I put my sublimation paper and my sublimation ink. And then in the second drawer, I have all my sublimation tumblers, the straws that go with the tumblers, and the heated shrink wrap sleeves. And then in the third drawer, I have more blanks. So I have my car coasters, some magnets and keychains, my little felt car fresheners, and just like overstock of car coasters. And then in this drawer, I have my sublimation mugs that I had left over from a customer order. And then I have some blank license plates down here that can be sublimated on. And then this fabric that we did the hat patches with. And then in this drawer, I just put um, like my scrapbooking paper and this extra paper cutter that I have. Just because this paper doesn't fit in my other paper organizer over there. So I thought this drawer was the perfect spot for it. All right, guys, I think that is where I'm going to leave you guys today because I don't have really anything else to do other than just picking up my craft room from the mess of, you know, building this and putting everything together. Um, I just kind of have to pick it up, but I am exhausted. I am not doing that tonight. I will do that tomorrow morning. So I guess this is where I'm going to leave you guys. I think I got a lot done today. I love how my little rotating crafting tower turned out. And this definitely beats paying $350 for the ones that you see on Amazon. I think I may have seen some that may have been a tiny bit cheaper, but roughly they are all about that price. So because I got this for free and I got these drawers for $70 and it really wasn't too hard of a project, you could not beat this and I just couldn't be happier with it. All right guys, so as always, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other crafting tutorials or small business vlogs. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.